I'm Ozzy Griffin, and I had to let my livid anger boil down to basically just feeling depressed. The Melbourne Express uh, did a front page article on the 9th of April, Tuesday, uh, as it was in 2013. That's a couple of days ago. Way off course, C-O-U-R-S-E. Funny. And then it has a little tagline that says, Detached graduates turn good jobs bad. That is actually incorrect. Kayla Dengate's article is good. It's, it's got a very tongue-in-cheek cheek tone when it says, Starry-eyed university graduates with no chance of getting a job in their field are destabilizing the entire workforce. It's claimed. She then undermines that premise uh, if you read between the lines, and most people won't, by citing Belgian O.K. Somerville's article in Human Relations, saying that acceptance of intermediately skilled jobs as graduate occupations without interventions to make better use of graduate skills may result in good jobs going bad in the graduate labor market. She also cites uh, University of Canberra Centre for Labour Market Research Director Phil Lewis and his agreeing with Scotland's Aberdeen and Strathclyde universities on coining the term graduateness, the extent to which skills associated with graduate jobs are used in emerging occupations. He says that if, you're, if you study economics, chances are you're not going to be an economist. It's the same with both marketing and law. I don't think law would hit it. Uh, here in Australia, or it has eventually. People shouldn't study for one role. They should look to get broad skills applicable to many areas. I quit TAFE. And even when I was in uh, secondary school, I was... Uh, what do you call it? I was... Uh, looking around to other students, and you can find it in my video, I'll link it down in the description box, uh, uh, called Education in the Finish Line, where I basically talk, talk to other students and ask them what they were going to do when they graduated, and all of them paused for a dreadful s second, realising that they didn't really have much of an idea. We've got generational and class warfare going on in this country in the media right now. There was an article not so long ago, a couple of days ago, in the press that got a lot of attention that said, a pair of guys in a dinghy intercepted a whole bunch of refugees. And if you use the improper terminology of uh, the Melbourne uh, Herald's, Herald Sun readers as opposed to the Age readers, the Age readers uh, call, them, call them refugees. The Herald Sun people call them uh, boat people or rathos. And this came hot on the heels of it. So detached graduates turning good jobs bad, as I've just read out, not actually what the article is saying. What it's saying is the assumption of previous generations, the parents of these current graduates, is that you would have a part-time job or an after-school job or some form of work where you could get a referee and you could show that you're willing to stick it around and, you know, say, if you play your cards right, you know, all this can be yours or, you know, you can get the bigger parking space or you got to put in the hard work uh, to, you know, and put it in day after day, year after year to get the really good stuff. They're not getting taught that when they go to secondary school. When you're t at secondary school, it's all about the finish line. It's all about finishing the next test, and then you relax. And then you go to the next test, and then you relax. Nobody, they don't teach you a sense of, over time, things build up. You don't get to look at your own scores over a couple of years. You say, oh, I could turn around in the next year, give it another year at school. Not, well, here's your scores for year seven, here's it for year eight, here's it for year nine, and here's where you're at for year 10. Now, if you pursue the VCE, these are your probable odds. If you go for a, uh, a trade job or you know a technical and further education institute uh, course, these are your probable odds. Nobody sits you down and does that. My God, if they sat you down and did that, you would see a revolution in this country as far as how people handle their uh, education and how empowered people feel to choose their own educational path.
No, everyone got a snow job about, oh, the white collar jobs, that's where the money is. And the guidance counsellors who see you as a batch, you're one of a batch to these people, will tell you, I was told almost nothing. Like, nothing I said made sense. And it was like, oh, yeah, you should do that. Yeah. Well, what? I should, I should do like a diversity course or something? Yeah, yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah. I could figure that out by myself. So essentially, I just wasted time with them. The only thing I learned was that don't waste time with the guidance counselor. They're basically useless. I had a sister's friend that taught me a couple of skills for my job applications a couple of years later. And she said, well, I used to be a guidance counselor. Didn't they teach you this? And I said, no. They didn't teach me the phrase, play to your strengths. I didn't know that. And now we've got class warfare and generational warfare manifesting. And they're going to blame the graduates. They're going to blame the university students. They're going to blame people who are so afraid of not doing well in one given field when everybody was turning on the pressure to perform, perform, perform. And nobody was teaching them, oh, it got, builds up over time. And you can steer the ship of your life. No, nobody was teaching them that. It was all about the finish line. Sprint for the finish line and then you can collapse. That's why a lot of kids don't settle for long terms and jobs. Because they're wondering when they can collapse and relax next. They're wondering when the finish line is. And now it's turning into class warfare. And it's all for propaganda. And people are going to start looking at each other funny because some politico in Canberra wants to uh, milk it for a bit of PR and say that they've got the solution. They'll bring these unruly young people who don't understand what a career is, never mind the fact that they weren't ever taught, into line and they'll make everything better for everybody. I'm Ozzy Griffin and I was really pissed off. Now I'm just sad.